What's up? I see you answered your phone. That means you're not in school. I was. But I wasn't feeling so good. And, and so the nurse decided to send me home. Poor thing. Well, I'm almost home. I'll make you some soup, and we can watch Jeopardy. All right, I'll see you soon, OK? All right. Just kind of, nearly. kind of, kind Ferris of. Bueller. And Chloe Grace Moretz joins me now. So the people may have seen Kick-Ass, mm -hmm. the first one, mm -hmm. but if they haven't, tell us the basic premise of this. Then. Basically, Kick-Ass in general is about a young boy who is a, completely obsessed with comic books and comic book heroes and, you know, Clark Kent and, and all the, the different amazing characters. But he decides to go buy a wetsuit, buy a couple batons and dress up as a superhero character, which he calls Kick-Ass. And basically what you realize is that he realizes that he's not the only superhero out there. So he meets Hit Girl. And Hit Girl's like this real, genuine vigilante who knows what she's doing, who fights crime, and, and is kind of the real deal to his kind of foolish, untrained self. Yeah, and you really do kick it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you really do. It must have been great at 16 to be able to take those men down. Yeah, it's been fun. You know, the first one I did when I was 11, so I've been training pretty much from then on, you wow. know what I mean? So it's been a lot of fun for me to, to try different things and, and just have fun with all the stunt guys on set and just mess around, you know, because that's like the, the silly fun bit, you know? I mean, it is a fun movie and it's yeah. a big big summer blockbuster that I think people are going to love going to see. But there's mm -hmm. also something I think rather lovely about you, young woman, being so strong, yes. which is quite an important message, because mm -hmm. I think sometimes women are very often portrayed in a very vulnerable position. Damsel in distress. Completely. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's what's so cool about the character of Hit Girl, because it's someone that you know, the college students and the people that are, are legally allowed to see this movie, mm -hmm. the girls love that type of character. And it's nice for guys to see a girl take charge, you know, in a young way too. It's not just like an Angelina Jolie adult. It's a kid who actually knows what she wants and she's going after it. And that's how I can really relate to her. Because mm -hmm. I am a 16 year old actor who's been in this business for 11 years. So it's like, I'm, you know, kind of steadfast and very, you know, you know, kind of strong, you know what I mean? So it's, it's easy for me to relate to that character. And Jim Carrey's in the movie, which, yeah. because the characters are so larger than life, he almost looks like he's slightly underplaying it. <laughs> and normally he's the crazy one. Yeah. Did you actually get to meet him? Because you haven't got scenes together, have you? We don't have scenes together. Okay. But, um, yeah, I got to... I met him a couple times. And, you know, his character has such a good moral within mm. the story. And, and I think, you know, I think when you, when you watch the movie, his character really does have a great moral. And you know he 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 carries a gun around, but it's never loaded. And he kind of he kind of brings a real gravitas to the situation and shows that look, what we're doing is real. We're not just you can't respawn. You know what I mean? He's showing that you can, you can be a vigilante, but you have to know the consequences. You know, you you do bad things, you get hurt. You do good things, you're going to get glory, but it's hard. Yeah, you also might get some comeback too. Yeah, exactly. And you've packed a lot into your 16 years. As you say, you've been at this game for 11 years so yeah. far and you've worked with Johnny Depp. What yeah. was that like? Oh, Johnny's literally one of the sweetest guys you will ever meet. He's just, he's just a genuinely good guy, you know, and he has, he has his family around him all the time and he, he conducts himself on set like such a gentleman. Uh, yes. And he yes. shakes her hand I'm every Johnny's morning and he just hangs out with the crew and Worth just chills at the snack table and... He doesn't make a diva of himself. You know, he doesn't exclude himself in any way. And that was in Tim Burton's film Dark Shadow, yeah. wasn't it? Who Michelle Pfeiffer was also in that. Mm -hmm. I mean, she must be a great role model for your young actress, oh, too. Of course. I mean, I've always looked up to Michelle Pfeiffer my entire life. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and, you know, you always, especially as, like, an action-type girl, too, you look up to her as in Catwoman and other stuff like that. And she's just such, she's just such a female-empowered empowerment kind of woman. Mm. You know what I mean? You just see her and she exudes like strength. Mm. She's just a strong and she conducts herself so well and she has a family and she was flying back every weekend to LA to her husband and her kids and, and you know you really you know she shows you that you can be a normal sweet person and also have a family and, and have those two lives be one. As you do too. You <laughs> seem so grown up for your years <laughs> just chatting tonight. Is that because you keep your family so close? I know your yeah. brother's travelling with you at the moment. Yeah, my brother's he? here right now and yeah. my mom's watching at home because she didn't want to wake up too early. <laughs> <I> don't, <laughs> yeah. We don't, I don't blame, blame her. For that. I know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I keep my family with me at all times and even you know farther than that like 
I keep the people around me in my business, and my publicist, my manager, my agent, my hair and makeup. I keep those people around me that are good people too, because I feel like besides your family, it's those people that influence you the most too in your life. So you have to have good friends and good company and a good family yeah. to kind of keep yourself from flying off the handle, which is not that hard to do in this business. No, well, just, it seems like you're on the straight and narrow. Briefly, <laughs> what's next for you? Uh, well, I have um, I have Carrie coming out at the end of the year and uh, Kick-Ass yeah. too. I remember the original, of course. Yeah, <laughs> You won't exciting. have done, but you may have watched it since. I've seen it, definitely, yeah. yeah but the new one's going to be very exciting. It's a, it's it's very much so based on the Stephen King novel, and it's with Julianne Moore, so it's okay. going to be very exciting. Well, that's great. So Kick-Ass 2 is out on August the 14th. I think. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. So we can all get to see that. Lovely to chat to you. Thank Thanks you. It's been fun.